If you have been seeking to attract better relationships in life, a better career path, if you want to become more successful and just more happier in life, Jesus said in John 10, 10, that he came not only to give you life, but so that you can experience life more abundantly. And a lot of times, even though the people say they believe in what Jesus said, they still aren't experiencing that abundant life that Jesus spoke of. And that's mostly because of the type of energy that they carry. Your body is a ball of energy. And whatever you attract in life has a lot to do with what is rooted in your heart. Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Understand that the heart is an electromagnetic field of energy. And whatever is in your heart, you will actually attract. Again, you are a ball of energy but your heart has its own type of energy that's responsible for attracting things, people, situations into your life, and so much more. And you have to start looking at yourself as this ball of light. Start viewing yourself as a ball of energy and imagine that whatever is in your heart, if it's negative, that light begins to dim down. The energy field decreases. But if you have positive things that you're thinking on within your heart, that field of energy or that light starts to shine brighter and brighter. There is actually research from the Heart Math Institute, the HMI, which suggests that the heart's electrical field is approximately 60 times greater in amplitude than the electrical activity created in the brain and is an important carrier of information. This is what research is saying about your heart. They are saying that the electrical field around your heart is 60 times greater than the electrical field that's within your brain. So again, that goes back to the word of God, which says in Proverbs, 23 7 for as he thinketh in his heart so is he if you want to attract good things then you have to think on good things and these things have to get rooted into your heart once those things get rooted into your heart you'll notice you'll start speaking better your language begins to change into more positive words You'll start to notice that negative things, when they happen, they won't affect you as much because you've always focused on the positive. You're always seeing the best in life and not the worst. When others might be talking about someone in a negative tone, you'll start to see how God sees them. You'll notice you'll want to start pulling out the best qualities in others instead of tearing them down. Things will become a lot easier in life. Why? It's all because of the energy that you carry. So you have to learn to be happy. Do things that make you joyful and stay away from people and things that bring your energy down. Philippians 2, 12 and 13 out of the message version reads, be energetic in your life of salvation, reverent and sensitive before God. That energy is God's energy and energy deep within you God himself willing and working at what will give him the most pleasure. The energy and the aura that you carry is the energy of God. And when you stay energetic, it not only attracts good things into your life, but the Bible says that it also gives God pleasure. The next verse reads, do everything readily and cheerfully. No bickering, no second guessing allowed. Go out into the world uncorrupted, a breath of fresh air in this squalid and polluted society. Provide people with a glimpse of good living and of the living God. Carry the light giving message into the night so I'll have good cause to be proud of you on the day that Christ returns. You'll be living proof that I didn't do all this work for nothing. Be a breath of fresh air to someone today. This polluted society needs to see the light of Christ within you. Be cheerful and do everything for God with joy and gladness. Meditate on good things. Philippians 4, 8 out of the AMP reads, 
Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of a good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, Think continually on these things, center your mind on them and implant them into your heart. The Bible says to think continually on these things and implant them into your heart. Why? Again, because whatever a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And if you want to attract good and positive things into your life, continue to think on good things, lovely things, pure things, Think on God's word and I promise you, you will see positive results because you carry the energy of the spirit of the living God. God bless you in Jesus name.